Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books, because I do, I love books, and it is the Reading Rush Day 1, my husband just texted me, Day 1 vlog, so uh, I'm just leaving the pool. I have a little community pool uh, in our neighborhood that we live in, like our condo pool. But then I sometimes go to my good Judy Tanya's um, country club and I'm leaving there right now. So <laughs> I went to the pool today and hung out with Tanya. I have my towel right here. <laughs> and then I have my little bag that I carry with me to the pool. And this is so cute. It's like $40 on Amazon. It's a little North Face bag. You can get you one too. Anyway, and um, I am on my way to go do a review video for my review channel. I have been listening to audiobooks like crazy. So, let me just say this about The Reading Rush, which formerly was Booktubeathon. I never do very well, okay? I always like intend to read seven books out of, you know, the whole week, but I only ever typically finish like two or three books, okay? And I'm like, this year, I'm reading the books. I'm reading them this year. Hold on a second. I need to get some lip gloss. My lips are dry from being at the pool. Um, I am like, this year, I am going to read the books. And, um, hold on a second. Where's my lip gloss? Is anybody coming? Shoot. Oh, there's somebody coming that way, too. Okay, here we go. So, anyway, last night at midnight, I was in my car. <laughs> I usually start the reading rush like on the front porch with like my coffee and my little drinks and my treats and my veggies with my veggie dip and all that kind of stuff. But it was pouring down rain last night. So this is such a pretty color. It like goes so well with my tan. Anyway, Lunar Beauty Celine. All right, so I. Um, couldn't sit on the front porch last night because it had like, I don't think it was raining right then, but it was like, it had rain and it had poured down rain the whole night. So our front porch was soaked. Um, the glider where I sit was uh, soaked. Our back patio was soaked. So there, I couldn't sit out there. Um, and it was like raining off and on. So I was like, okay, cause I was going to start with life as we knew it by Susan Pfeffer. Pfeffer. Um, it's a book. It's a, it's a book, obviously it's a series, um, about a meteor that hits, the moon or the sun at uh, the moon and it like it changes everything about the earth and it's like kind of like the end of the world kind of thing it's a four-part series so i've heard really good things about it um i got it at half price books like a couple years ago it's an older book not older but i think it's like 10 years old something like that so i was going to start that and start my graphic novel clue so um I can't remember which category Life As We Knew It was in. Oh, the book I touched first. And then Clue, the graphic novel, was read from a genre that you want to read more of. Um, but I didn't want to, my husband was asleep, and so I didn't want to just sit inside with like a, you know, heart, like a little book reading light, um, or the kitchen light on and sit next to it. So I was like, I'm gonna listen to my audiobooks first. So I went and I listened to Love Creekwood um, by Becky Albert Albertalli which is the novella follow-up to um, uh, Simon versus Homo Sapiens Agenda, which is from the movie Love Simon, or they made it into the movie Love Simon, which I forgot how much, like Simon in the book, how different he is from Simon in the movie. And I equally loved both of them, but they are very different. The story is exactly the same, but like Simon's pretty different, like in the book and in the movie. Um, and, um, so anyway, I mean, I, I also think that, like, uh, he's a deeper character in the book than he is in the movie, but I, I loved the movie, too. I thought the movie was really well done. So anyway, I, um, and then it's, then Leah on the offbeat, and it's all the characters from the Simon verse, um, which is what they call, like, the characters that came out of Love, Simon, and, or Simon versus Homo Sapiens Agenda, and Leah on the offbeat. I did not love Leah on the offbeat, but I did love... The upside of unrequited. So anyway, um, which I don't believe those characters are in Love Creekwood. So it's the year. At, I know I just went into the dark because I turned. I'm sorry, you guys. But anyway, um, so I finished Love Creekwood last night. I gave it five out of five stars. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I even cried towards the end, and I cried at the end of it. Um, 
it's exactly two and a half hours, but then at the end of it, you get like, uh, what do you call it? Um, like a preview of Becky Albertalli's next book, which is called like Love Kate or something like that, or Kate something, I don't know. Um, I didn't listen to it, to be honest with you, because I was just um, wanting to get into my next book. I listened to like the first two minutes of it, and then I was like, I don't care. But anyway, um, I will tell you, if you're gonna read Love Creekwood, my suggestion would be to read a physical copy of it, not to listen to it on Audible. Um, it was, okay, the narration was fantastic, and it has some of the, it has some of Audible's best narrators. Bonnie Turpin um, narrates um, Abby Seuss's part, which I think she did on Leah and the Offbeat, too, or I think Leah and the Offbeat, I think maybe she narrated that book, I can't remember. Becky, Bonnie Turpin is one of my favorite narrators on Audible. She narrated all of Angie Thomas's books. She narrated, um... She's narrated so many great books. The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. Um, she's like one of Audible's top narrators and it's just, she's fantastic. And her name is B-A-H-N-I-T-U-R-P-I-N. -I, I love her, I absolutely love her. I could just listen to her for hours and hours and hours and I do, but anyway. But there's four different character voices and so there's four different um, actors that play. Well, there's more characters than that, but like they read the major four, which is Simon and um, Brom and um, Leah and Abby. Like those are the top four. And they've gone off to college and so it's all the emails. And the reason why I wouldn't recommend the Audible version is because it's like, the whole book is like, you know, like, <laughs> Abby Sousa at, you know, Abby Sousa1234 at gmail.com to Leah on the offbeat 125652 and to Simon. I mean, it's just like a lot of that. Like a lot of just like to and from, to and from and subject. It's like, cause you're reading emails, right? A at the end, there's a part where they're doing like a group email. And so it's like two, like, and there's like six or seven people in it. It's like all their friends from high school. They do this at two different parts in the book. Well, maybe it's more than that, like seven, eight people, and they literally read every single name. I mean, it's like, do, 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 do. I mean, it takes, and then like, and so somebody, the email will be like, thanks. And so it'll be like, the next person will be like, to so-and-so, 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 subject, dot, 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 yes. And you're like, I just listened to all of that. I mean, it's just, it's a lot. Um, so I wouldn't read the audible version for that, but anyway, so I completed one book. Of course, it was a novella and it was short and it was on Audible, but I completed that. That was fantastic. I figured out my Audible books because I have five Audible books, one graphic novel and one physical copy that to finish my audio books, okay, in time to finish all five of them for the um, readathon, for the reading rush, I have to listen to um, three hours a day of audiobooks, which is a lot, but it is very doable. So, I then started my next book, which was, oh, so Love Creekwood was my book that had my birthstone on the cover of it, which was Pearl, because the Love Creekwood part was white, and so I just did that. I know that's kind of cheating, but I don't care. So anyway, I'm not done talking yet, so I'm gonna go down here for a little bit further, because um, I'm supposed to go in here and do a review, but no, we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna keep on driving for a little bit. So anyway, um, then I read, I started The Deep by Peter Benchley, and this is for my category, um, read a book, you know, they usually, so the Reading Rush usually does book to movie adaptation. So like read a book and then watch the movie. But this year they're doing um, read a book that you've already seen the movie. And so a couple of years ago I read Jaws and I had seen the movie. And of course, a million times it's like, I feel like Jaws is the scariest movie in the entire world, okay? And my biggest fear in life is sharks. So I loved Jaws. And the book Jaws is so completely different. I can't remember, somebody tweeted it to me. I can't remember who it was now. Oh, it was like an M name. I wish I remembered. But anyway, and so that she was doing the reading rush too and she put like the books that she was reading and Jaws was like one of them. And she was reading it for like three different categories. Okay, Jaws the book is so different than the movie. I mean, it's basically the same characters, but there's a lot of like background background to it that like you don't know like when you're reading when you're watching the movie there's just like a lot of like 
there's not like a lot of characters that aren't in the movie, but there's just a lot of things that happen that you uh, you don't see happening um, in the movie. And I've said it before, so I'll say it again. There's an affair that occurs, and then there's like mafia, kind of like business kind of stuff that's going on, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's not mafia, I don't remember, but it's something like that. Like, that's why they don't want the beaches shut, because it'll affect tourism, and then it gets into like this whole business thing. But I do think it has to do with the mafia. So anyway, um, so I loved that. So I, one of my favorite movies of life is also The Deep with uh, Nick Nolte and Jacqueline Bissett. And um, what is his name? Robert Shaw, who played the guy with the boat on Jaws. Do you guys remember him? Okay, fantastic actor. I saw last night when I was looking it up on IMDb, because he was also, I was like, he, I think it's the same character that was in The Deep, because he plays kind of a similar character in The Deep. Um, if you've never seen the movie, it's fantastic. It's about a couple that goes to Bermuda, and they're scuba diving, and they find this wreck. And so they're trying to find this, um, these uh, ampules of morphine while at the same time finding this treasure but then these people don't want them to find it and so they're like in a lot of danger and this guy helps them out and his name's Treese. Well, the guy that plays Tr uh, Treese in The Deep is the same guy that played um, I can't think of his name now but the guy in Jaws, the real like rough guy, you know, that owned the boat in Jaws Anyway, but I read on IMDb last night that Premiere Magazine named that character like one of the top 28 characters in film history ever. Isn't that interesting? So yeah, so I started The Deep last night. I am currently four hours and 52 minutes into The Deep and it is eight hours and 24 minutes long. So I'm already halfway through. Nobody wants to let me over. I can see they're just like powering through, powering through, powering through. So anyway, um... So yeah, I'm over halfway through with the book, so my guess is that I'll probably finish that tonight. And the next book that I was gonna read was gonna be Thresher, which is about a shark. And that was my book that I was gonna read that was completely outside. But when I was in the pool with Tanya today, she was like, oh my God, I started this book and it's so good. And I was like, well, what is it? She's like, it's so good, I don't wanna put it down. And I go, Tanya, don't start talking about the book until you tell me what it's called. Because my friend Tanya, I love her dearly. She's been my best friend for 23 and a half years. But she is killing for talking about a book and then telling me everything that happens in it. And she goes, it's called The Guest List. It's so good. I go, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear any more about it. Don't tell me any more about it. She goes, why? It's so good. She goes, I paid full price for this book. And she's like, I'm almost done with it. And I've read it like in one night and I don't want it to end. I go, don't. I said, Tanya, it's on my TBR for Reading Rush. Because she knows I'm doing Reading Rush and how excited I am for it. I have, This traffic is unbelievable. Like, this is crazy. So anyway, she's like, well, let me tell you. I go, I don't want to know anything about it, Tanya. Don't tell me anything about it. So she said, okay. So, but she said, the, it's called The Guest List. I literally cannot turn. Because I have to do a U-turn right here and there's just constant traffic coming. I think I can turn right here after this car. Oh no, because now a car's gonna turn in front. Seriously? Look at this car racing out behind me. Do you know how long I waited? Anyway, um, so she said the guest list is so good. And I goes, and she goes, it's kind of real different. She's like, you'll really like it because it's so different. And I said, okay, I'm really excited. So um, I think I'm going to start that next when I finish um, The Deep. I think that's going to be the next book that I finish, uh, that I start to read. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm doing well so far on The Reading Rush. Um, already today, I've listened to an hour, so I only have like two more hours if I listen today, but I think I'm actually ahead. Um, and I really just kind of want to listen and enjoy the books, but I really, like every moment that I have free, whether it's like just doing stuff around the house or like driving in the car, I've been like trying to listen to um, my audiobooks. And then tonight, it looks like it's going to rain again. It's pretty right now, y'all want to see? I mean, it's kind of like overcast, but it's pretty. Um, I'm thinking about, well, I'm, I have to start my um, 
the paper books tonight. Now, I do have, um, what was I gonna say? Tonight, I have this group that I do on Zoom where I get together with my girlfriends and we, um, we read recovery literature together and that's at eight o'clock. So I don't, I won't be able to start it till after that, but that's okay. The Clue, um, I'm hoping I really like it. The Clue ne graphic novel is like, there's six books in the series and it's like you read one, but it's like each mystery goes into the next. So I hope I really like it. Um, and if I do, I'll continue to read those. And then I hope I like this other book. So if I like it, then I'll keep on reading the series. So, but anyway, that's my vlog catch up for day one of the reading rush. I'm loving it and I'm having so much fun. I haven't done any of the challenges yet. I haven't even looked at the challenges. When I get home, I'm gonna look at the challenges. And if I have time, cause I'm gonna make some other videos on my other channels. So if I get home and I have time, is this where I have to turn? I don't know where to turn. If I get home and I have time, um, I'm gonna try to do, I know the Instagram challenges recreate a book cover. So I might do that, but I don't know what book cover I would recreate. So um, we'll see. Um, and if I get home and I have time to do that, then I will do that today. So anyway, I love you guys. I think I turned in the wrong way to go to the place where I'm gonna review something. And I will see you tomorrow in my next uh, Reading Rush update reading vlog. I love you guys, bye.